Welcome to Pint Sized. Today we're talking about when big breweries try to make small beers. Welcome along. Today we're pitting two craft beers against one another. The first is the Backyard B17 from Carlsberg, Sweden. The Carlsberg-owned Backyard Brewery is an experimental workshop located in the backyard of the Falkenberg Brewery. One word. Thunderkuka Falkenberg. They do two beers. The first one, this, the B17, is a Pilsner-style lager made with sass and Willamette hops. The other one is the Lawnmower, an amber beer made with caramel and Munich malts. The other beer is Bragging Rights from Brains Craft Brewery, Brains Craft Brewery. Huh? This one is based on an old Welsh style of beer called a Braggit. Bra Braggard. Braggard. It's a light golden ale with honey, pepper, clove, cinnamon, coriander, ginger, pepper, I think that's it, gin, garlic. Brains are the biggest and best known brewery in Wales and have been family owned since they were set up by Samuel Brain in 1882. Their flagship beer is the Brains SA and they own 250 pubs across the West Country in Wales. Their craft brewery wing has been going since 2012 and since then they've made hundreds of pretty cool sounding beer styles from across the world. Most big breweries in the world have ventured into the world of craft beer, either by buying out already successful ones or by setting up their own little wing. Let's see if all their knowledge, infrastructure and money can actually make a half decent beer. Let's try them out. Okay, so first up we've got the B17 from the Carlsberg, Sweden Backyard Brewery. This one comes in at 4.7% and just looks like a nice brown, lovely gold beer with a half decent off-white head. Very apricot-y smell, orange, lemon. Kind of smells like um, like apricot yogurts. If you know apricot yogurts, it smells like apricot uh, yogurts. A lot of apricot yogurt going on in here. Is this just apricot yogurt? Just smells like it's gonna be very sweet, very fruity, quite a lot like an apricot yogurt. That's really unusual. Really massive sweet hit, a lot of apricot yogurt, bit of caramel. Uh, but that fruitiness doesn't last. It suddenly goes to a very dry finish. But it's nice, nice feeling in the mouth as well. It's very fresh, uh, refreshing, crisp. It's not coating my mouth with this dry, drying feeling. But it's quite enjoyable actually. It's, 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 it's yogurt. It's nice that it's in a can, because uh, that's good for, for can for the can industry. Okay, and against B17, we've got bragging rights. Chock full of loads of different spices and and herbs. So there we go. A lot of carbonation, clear amber. Not much head. Whoa. Whoa, it smells like a toilet. It's very spicy, almost uh, that, that very clovey, banana-y smell. Very clovey, clove heavy, clovey. Hmm, definitely not getting as much apricot yogurt as I did on the one before. But yeah, smells interesting, smells very spicy. I'm hoping it's not just gonna be an explosion of different mismatched flavors. Let's try it out. Well, that's a lot more watery than I thought it would be. There's still a bit of spice flavor in there. That's definitely more watered down than it smells. I'm getting a bit of wheat aftertaste now, actually. That's quite interesting. As I'm, as I'm talking through it, it's kind of developing into this dry, wheaty, sort of earthy flavor. It's kind of weirdly artificially flavored, though. It's not like a, a, a Belgian beer where you get a lot of body with it, uh, with those flavors. It's just very watery and it's quite unusual. Uh, I don't know if it's pleasant or not. Yeah, it's just... I'm not sure. I don't know I'm talking to it. I'm so sorry. So I'm not sure about that one. It's an interesting idea, a lot of ingredients in there. Quite an exciting style, but I don't know if, they've, if it's quite worked. But the thing with the Brains Craft Brewery is that they're, they're just doing so many styles and flavors. And I imagine every once in a while they come across a true gem. I just think that one's just a little bit short of the mark. So if I had to choose one of them, it would go to the Carlsberg Sweden's uh, B17, lovely crisp, nice apricot yogurt flavor. Half decent craft beer, albeit made by Carlsberg. That's all for this episode of Pint Size. Remember to check out our Facebook page, forward slash Pint Size Thinking, where this week I uploaded a Beers of Europe unboxing. Now everyone loves those, I think, still, I hope so. 
Anyway, yeah, so check it out, forward slash pint-sized thinking. Thanks so much for watching. Remember to subscribe if you like what you saw, and I'll see you next time. It's a light golden ale with pepper, honey, clove, cinnamon, ginger, coriander, and... Cinnamon? Did I say that? It's a light golden ale with honey, pepper, cinnamon, clove, coriander, ginger, and... Shit. What's the f it's a light golden ale with honey, pepper, clove, cinnamon, garlic... Oh, no. What? It's a light golden ale with honey, pepper, cinnamon, clove, coriander, ginger, and coriander. Shit.